So right now we are going to implement the virus detection feature. Remember that this is a paid feature. So if you want to have it, please contact the support team. So right now we need to move to the workflows section. And we are going to create a new workflow. Okay, I will give it a name to this workflow. I will name it virus detection workflow for this example. And we are going to add a new task. In this, we are going to move to the intelligence section and select the virus detection. We are going to save this. And our workflow is already saved. So, if we go again into our workflow section, we are going to find it. Here is it. Okay, now this part is ready, so we are going to move to create a, a webhook. A webhook is just an endpoint where we are going to recite all the data and all the information from our task. In this case, the virus detection task. So for this example, I'm going to define a local endpoint in my computer. I'm going to use the help of the Visceptor web page and I'm going to define my link here. This is like my API or my endpoint. So I'm going to paste it here and create a new webhook. I'm going to say that this webhook is for workflows. So every time a workflow execute, uh, the information will will be will end here. Okay, so so now everything is ready. I'm going to move again to my workflow section and I'm going to go to the edit option. Right now, into the picker configuration button, we are going to find how to implement this in code. So I'm going to copy this, this here with my workflow ID. Oh, sorry. I'm going to move to my application and I'm going to paste the code I copied here into my picker example that we made in a previous video. I'm going to put it here and add the comma. So now everything is ready. My application is ready. We just need to run this app and check how does this, this feature works. So let's move to our browser and I'm going to open my application. I'm go I just need to add the extension here. Okay, now if you can remember, this is my picker implementation. So I'm going to open my picker and I'm going to upload a sample file. I want to check if this example have some virus of, or something. So right now I'm going to open my console and in my object, I can find my array, but I can find a new parameter, the workflows that said all the information about it. So now everything is ready. I'm going to move to my endpoint and I'm going to check what is happening. I can see a JSON response with all the data of it. So I'm going to move to a JSON Beautifier page just to see it more clear. Here I will find all the information of my workflow and here into the results part we're going to find that the file is not infected and we are going to find that the infection list is empty. But now maybe you're wondering, how does it look a response from an infected file? So we just need to move to the file site documentation page again. And we are going to find here into the virus detection option, the response from an infected file. We can see that the infected field now is set it on true. And in the infection list, we are going to find all the malwares of that file. That's it. Thank you for choosing FileStack.